I've become a huge fan of the 28mm focal length. It's actually what I'm using right now. You get less distortion on the edges and I look less alien-like a little bit. But I also like having the option of a tighter focal length, like the 70mm for example. And just got the 7200 not long ago and there's video that you can have a look at up here. Love this. But imagine a lens that had a range of 28 all the way up to 70. Oh, and it's also f2. Now in this video, I'm gonna be focusing on videography mainly, over photography, because I'm not much of a photographer. I'm gonna mainly be focusing on the video side of this lens. Now we all know about Canon's new RF mount system. I absolutely love them because of the colors. They look incredible, but also the fact that they have this little control ring on them as well. And I have that set up to control my ISO. And I think it's really handy, but you can control other things. You can set it to whatever you like, but listen to the sound of that. Love that sound. I like it that much. I release my own pack of camera sounds and I'll leave a link below. It's on my website. You can download them and use them for whatever you like. But anyway, back to the lens. I've actually hired this lens for the weekend. I didn't go out and buy it because I wanted to test if it was something that I would enjoy and that I would use. So before spending the cash, I thought I'd hire it. And it's incredible. Absolutely love it. Look at the size of it. It's huge. It weighs a ton. I actually, when I used to go to the gym, I'd, the weights I'd lift would be lighter than this. <laughs> Love the size of this thing. Well built, like the rest of the range. But also, it's got an incredible range, such a versatile lens. From 28mm, nice and wide, but not too wide, all the way up to 70mm. Now, it's so versatile because you can get some nice landscape shots as well as getting some nice close up and tighter shots when you want to show a little bit more detail. And personally, that range is amazing because when you're filming B-roll, you want to get a nice span of different focal lengths. You want some wide shots to establish where you are. And then you also, you want some tighter shots to show the detail of what it is you're focusing on. So it's an incredible range, it's so good. Not to mention, well, I am gonna mention, it's F2. So it's incredible in low light, it's so, so nice. Check out some of these shots that I got in the evening with just some street lamps and a tiny little LED bracelet thing. Uh, that full video is up here as well if you wanna have a look at that. It's It was so good and that was ISO 400, ISO 400. This F2 is incredible, excuse me. Yeah. Oh, there we go. But not only that, look at the bokeh in the background. It's so nice. It's really film-like. In fact, that's the widest open I've ever shot on one of these RF lenses, and it's so good. It's really nice. I'd love to have a few more days on this lens. It's got a little lock on here, so when it's in your bag, you can put that down, and then it doesn't change focal lens. Keep it nice and sturdy in your bag. You've got autofocus and manual focus switch, there is no image stabilization in the lens, I will add. So that is the only downfall. But if you've got the R6 or the R5, you've got IBIS in there, so it's nice and steady. And to be fair, I did have a little bit of a test vlogging with this, and I found, I didn't really notice to be honest, because I had the IBIS on and also the digital stabilization on, and it was absolutely fine. Can you vlog with it? Well, I'm now actually vlogging using the 28 to 70. I'm at, I'm at 28 mil, and I'd say you could comfortably vlog with this lens. Yeah, it's a little bit heavy, but if you beef the arms up a little bit, it's not a problem. Not to mention when you want to go to, when you want to switch from like vlogging like this, for example, a wide shot, wide-ish shot, and then you need to get some close up B-roll of something, you could switch nice and easily to 70 mil or anywhere in between. So great versatile all-round lens. I would vlog with this if I had bigger arms. <laughs> I tried it, to be fair, because I had the digital stabilization on, it punched in a little bit, and I would like to try it without, to be honest. So next time, if I, if I try this again, I'll try it without, because it'll give me a little bit more space. It's heavy, so it is really difficult to vlog with for extended periods of time. Obviously, with it being quite big, <sighs> 
it's a tough one. But yeah, the image stabilization would let it down for vlogging. Great in slow-mo though, absolutely perfect for that. You, there's no shake. Like I say, I've got IBIS in the R6, so it was ideal. This is perfect for wedding videographers or photographers because you've got that nice range. You get some nice wide shots and some tighter shots as well. You don't always know where you're gonna be stood. Sometimes you're not allowed to get so close to the couple when you're in the church. So it's nice to be able to stand a bit further back without having to swap lenses. So you could literally just turn up with this one lens and cover the whole wedding and it's f2 so you know that if you're in a dark venue this is going to let plenty of light in so you know your shots are going to be well lit and you've got nothing to worry about there if you weren't vlogging and you wanted a great all-round lens this is the one yes it's expensive but worth it because you could just have this one lens in your bag rather than having a wider lens and then a tighter lens for example so this is what i'd go for if you're not sure which one to get this one Another thing that I love about the RF lens system is the reproduction of colours. Now, I talked about it briefly in the video of the 7200, and basically it's got technology in it that reproduces the colours so well, and even if you backlight in a subject, you've still got the contrast and saturation that you really want. And it also means that if you've got other RF lenses, you know your colours are going to match. So you don't have to do anything strange with the color grading. All the footage matches up. But if you're just using this one lens on its own, it doesn't matter anyway. I was trying to find a step down ring so I could put my 82 mil filter on there. Because this is a 95 mil diameter filter thread, I needed to get a step down ring so I could put my 82 mil filter on there, but I couldn't find any. Well, the ones that I did find were either really expensive or it was gonna take weeks to come. So because it's quite a rare size, they're not readily available. So that's the downside. However, what I was doing with this lens mainly was slow-mo stuff. So my shutter speed was higher, making it a bit darker. So I got away with it. But there are gonna be instances where I do want to put the filter on. So either I'm gonna to have to get a larger filter, which is gonna cost me even more, or I'm gonna to have to spend that extra on the right filter thread size. But you know, when you upgrade your gear, you gotta, Prepare for these little extra things that set you back even further, don't you? <sighs> always forget. I don't know if that battery's ran out or if I forgot to switch it on. It's always something I forget. Who would I recommend this lens to? Well, if you just want one lens to do it all, this is the one. As long as you've got in-body stabilization or digital stabilization in your camera, this is an incredible lens. I highly recommend it, especially if you're a wedding photographer or wedding videographer, go for this lens. It's awesome. F2, incredible, a favorite, so good. I'm gonna miss that for sure. If you're gonna be vlogging, it's probably too heavy, but if you've got bigger arms than me, you'll probably be all right. It's just a great all-rounder. Anybody, I'd recommend it to anyone, to be honest. Just be aware that if you are vlogging, you're not gonna be able to get that super wide view and be able to fit more than one person in the frame at the same time. The only thing is 70 mil, if you're doing like wildlife photography or videography, with 70 mil, it's nice and tight, but it's not super zoomed in, so you're not gonna be able to get subjects really far away but you know that's not really what it's for so you're going to be looking at different lenses for that anyway i'd love to know what your favorite focal length is let me know in the comments below what lenses do you use would you get this one are you looking it's gone off you see it's gone off thank you so much for watching if you still are don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more gear reviews and tutorials and press the bell to get notified of new videos when i upload them so that you don't miss anything have a great week and i'll see you in the next one